Hey guys, here's another step for the movie poster series. In this tutorial, I'll be going over one of the most important aspects of a movie poster, the title. The title obviously tells us the name of the movie. What's important about a title, though, is how it is designed. It could convey an emotional response, tell you the genre of the film, and even show what kind of budget this film has, all in one title. For my title, I wanted a futuristic text design with a color scheme that matches the poster and has a couple of subtle effects to add to the concepts of the movie. I'm going to show you the techniques I used for creating the title. No extra plugins are necessary. So the first thing we want to do is look at the size of the image so we can create text that fits well. So we go to image, image size, and we see the width is 4050 pixels. We don't want to make the height 6000 pixels, that's useless. So press OK, and now press Command or Control N to create a new image and call it title. Make sure the width is 4,050 pixels and the height can be 1,200. As you can see, I've done this before, but that's generally where you want it to be. And make sure your resolution pixels per inch is the same as your poster as well. And press OK. Now what we want to do is create a new layer and make the bottom layer black reference. This makes it so when you start typing in your titling, you can actually see what you're doing. Grab the paint bucket tool, make sure your foreground color is black, and fill it in. Now, grab your second layer. We're going to call this first title. We're going to have multiple layers, so just so we have as reference, we'll call it first title. Grab the type tool, and I grabbed a type tool that I found on the internet called abduction. from one side to the other completely fill in and make sure your foreground color is now white so it's right up here double click and move it up to white and type in the title of the movie freezer burn now that's awful small so I'm gonna change it to 150 points and that should be more than adequate and now we deselect Let's go ahead and move it down to the middle, just so we have easy access to it and it looks good for the eyes. Now we're going to go to our blending options. First thing we're going to go to do is this little button right here, FX, and we're going to press bevel and emboss. This is going to add a little bit of inner depth to it. So I'm setting the style as inner bevel, the technique to smooth the direction to up, depth at 100%, and size at 10 pixels. All the other settings I'm keeping the same. Now I'm going to go to Gradient Overlay, which adds a cool little effect here, but that's not the way I want the effect to be. And I'm going to set the style to Diamond with the angle at zero and the gradient at a normal white to black with the settings in reverse. And press OK. Now we want to duplicate this layer, so we press and hold Command or Control and press J. And we double click on our effects and we're going to change these so i'm going to keep bevel and emboss but i'm going to change the style to outer bevel and i'm also going to add an inner shadow as you can see it's already starting to develop depth i'm going to turn off gradient overlay and i'm going to add stroke And I'm going to set the position to center, blend mode normal, at the size at about 6 pixels. And press OK. Now what we want to do is set the fill of this new layer to zero. Now we're going to create a new layer, and we're going to call it yellow. Now I want you to command click on the bottom two layers, thumbnails, specifically the thumbnails. Both of them. Now you're going to go to select, modify, expand and we're going to expand by three pixels this opens up the selection a little bit more now make sure that your yellow layer is selected with your text layer still command selected so you see the selection here in other words as long as you did nothing you'll be fine grab your paint bucket tool change your foreground color to neon yellow it's fffc00 and fill it in now go to the layer blend modes here in the layers panel, set it to soft light, and set your opacity 
to 35%. Now we're going to create another new layer. We're going to call it Texture. And we're going to deselect our text. Now we're going to fill it with a different color. I'm going to use brown or brownish color. So go to red and try and find a darker color that's slightly red with a hint of brown. Fill the whole thing up. Now go to filter, noise, add noise. That's fine. You can change it to whatever you like. Press OK. Then go to filter again, blur, motion blur. And this creates a slightly stainless steel look. If this were if these colors were gray and black, it would really look like stainless steel. Then we go to filter again, sharpen, unsharp mask. That adds a little bit more grit to it, adds a little bit more detail. And then command and click on your yellow layer to make a selection and click on this little guy to add layer mask. And now that's filled in and set the blend mode of your texture layer to overlay. It's getting there. Now what, we want to, now what I want to do is add a, add a special texture to this text that will help it pop out and also add a little bit of character to it, which is actually dependent upon the movie itself. So I want to add a little bit of a watery thing going on to it to look like there's some sort of watery serum going on inside the title. So I picked out this guy. Go ahead and drag it over to your title. Go ahead, throw it in where you think it'll be best. That's fine right there. And we want to desaturate this layer. So we go to Image, Adjustments, Hue and Saturation, and just turn it all the way down. You can even play around with the lightness to get it to show up a little bit more. And press OK. Now command and click on the yellow layer to make a selection. And once again, add layer mask. Then we set the blend mode to overlay and set the opacity to 65%. Now one last thing I want to do is play around with this with the gradient on this because it's a little too dark on the corners. Double click on gradient overlay to change it and just change the scale up it by 246%. That's going to make it show up a lot more. Press OK. Then we go to layer, merge visible, Grab our move tool and drag it over to the freezer burn poster. And it's looking pretty good, but I'd like to just add a little bit more light to it. So I'm going to go to image, adjustments, brightness and contrast. And bring it up a little bit. We'll change the color situation. So image, hue and saturation, and mess around with the hue. And that's pretty good. I like it there. And press OK. And there's our title. Now all I really did right there was add a few effects from the filters panel as well as add some effects from the FX button right here that comes with every layer. It added dimension, it added substance, and it even added texture to our layer. It's really quite easy and you can experiment with these any way you like. These are just the settings that I chose for this particular title. So we really only have one more thing to do. We're waiting for one more person to come in to shoot and then we'll go over some Photoshop techniques with her. But before we do that, we have to add the credits. And it's less of a Photoshop tutorial and more of design guidelines that all movie posters have. 